and hello YouTube, this is GS Mountain Smart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. And today's video is going to be a bit different. I do have a playlist on my channel that revolves around uh, internet, internet browsing, and the sort. And I still want to update that playlist with a new video because it's just sitting there with two videos. So today we're going to talk about a relevant topic. Actually, one of my friends recently got their account hacked into, and the reason why that happened is most likely because his password was too easy. So I thought, why not make a video on the importance of how to create a strong password and how to check if that password is strong. Now, there are two websites that I like to use which show you how strong and secure your password is. How secure is my password, which is right here, and Password Checker. Now, both of these websites, I will leave a link in the description down below so you can test these out yourself. You can see how strong your password is. But it's also a great way to see if you're doing it correctly. This website right here, Password Checker, will basically tell you if you have uh, all the requirements for a good password. Secure Password is also a great one. It also tells you how long your password will be decoded by someone trying to hack. It's a really cool, interesting website. But before we test these websites out and I'll show you how to use them, I do want to go over the top four things to remember when you're actually creating a password. Now, one, it's important to have at least 12 characters minimum. The reason why I say 12 characters minimum is because a lot of websites will require you to have at least 12 characters or at least eight characters. Uh, also, there's really no minimum for a password. So having at least 12 characters usually is a good way to make sure that password is good for any site. Now, while it is a good idea to have one password for all of your sites because that way you'll never forget it, uh, it, all, it is also very strongly not recommended to do that. In fact, it's recommended that you have passwords for each website with a different password. Another one is to include numbers, symbols, capital letters, and lowercase letters. We have a lot of things on the keyboard to use. You don't have to include all of them, but if you include at least a number and you know some characters, you'll see in a second that it actually makes a huge difference. Also, don't use dictionary words or combination of dictionary words because those tend to be solved very quickly. So if you use an example such as cool house, that's actually a pretty poor password because uh, you can combine words together very easily and figure out the password. You also don't want to rely on obvious substitutions such as if you have cool house and substituting a zero for an O. So instead of cool house, you put C zero zero L and house with H zero U S E. That's also not a very good idea too. So those are the top four things I would keep in mind when creating a password. Now, if we go on to how secure is my password, uh, we can actually test this out. Say our password is house. You'll see that it instantly recognizes it. And it gives you a really nice breakdown of how it can instantly recognize it. Is it a common password? Then it can pretty much get figured out very easily. Is the length very short? Is it possibly a word in the dictionary? Then it can get figured out fairly quickly. Now, even if you type in something like cool house, as you can see, it only takes two minutes for it to be solved. Cool house with a space in between. If you put a space, it takes even longer. Now, if you put something like cool house with a substitute of zeros, as you can see, it takes even longer. So adding in numbers and adding in letters is a great way to secure your account with a better password. If I, for example, put in a cool house with an exclamation mark, it turns to four days. If I add a number, it turns to five years. Just adding a number to your password can easily change it. If your password is, I like ice cream, it takes two years, right? But if you add a number to it, it takes so much longer, 5,000 years. If you add a symbol to it, it takes even longer, 33 million years. So this is a really good site. You can really see how it makes a difference on your password just by adding a few things. And over here, very similarly, if we type in cool house like that, it gives you a strength. It tells you if it's a common word. It tells you if you use any symbols or lowercase or uppercase letters. Also a very good tool. So we do our example. I like ice cream. And we add a one and we add a symbol. Would you look at that? It becomes very strong. If we start erasing the one and the symbol, you see it becomes lower. So both sites are very good to use. I just wanted to share them with you because I think they're very important. And I think account security is very important as well. So I just wanted to make a quick short little video explaining to you what a good password is, how you can create a good password, and give you two resources that you can use to make sure that your password is secure. 
and I guess my own password that I pretty much use for a lot of my accounts isn't very secure either as you can see it only takes a hundred years to find out on the other hand a second password that I use takes 158,000 years to find out so I guess my second password is fairly much better than uh, my first one so as you can see even my own passwords are not as secure as they can be so it's a pretty so it's, so it's a very cool site I would highly recommend you guys to check it out, even if it's just for fun. So that's pretty much the video. If you have any questions or comments, any suggestions, feedback, any other key tips or uh, tricks to make a cool password, any other resources or websites that you want to share that relate to making a password or checking your password, leave the comments down below. I'll be down there answering any questions and talking to you guys as usual. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We have plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding uh, you know, computer tutorials, tech tutorials, we have video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials, audio editing tutorials, lots of cool things with software as well. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom, go ahead and leave a subscribe at the bottom. Would really appreciate either. If you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do as well. You can do so as well. Click the card on the top right hand corner of the screen or bring it to the page. And if you want to check out the vlogging channel, the gaming channel, advice channel, the music channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSMAM Smart. I'll be back soon, you think. Anyway.